Howdy y'all, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In today's video, I'll be going over the fastest ways to make caps in this game. Using my camp, I'll show off the first few methods to how to make a lot of caps really fast. In my camp, you'll see I have a medical building, I have a regular house, and then I have a training post. It is very important that if you have a vendor in your camp, you make sure to label it. You can either have vault boys signs pointing towards it, or just a simple, hey, mark your training post area. Inside the training post, I have a few display items because I like to decorate, and then I have my vending machine. Vending machine is by far my favorite way to get caps. You list your items. I can either list them for very cheap or I can list them for very expensive. Like obviously this isn't worth like a 4,000 suit, but it will entice people to buy the lower quantity things or like I have some of these items. They're either sell for cheap or a little bit expensive. In my opinion, sell things like how you want. If you want it very expensive, if you want it very cheap, obviously if you sell it really high, maybe players will be not enticed to buy it, but Overall, you should sell your things kind of cheap because you want to sell them. You're not going to use them. This isn't like, oh, I need, I need my third blunderbuss with the same roll. You really don't. You're never going to use it. Just sell it. And if it's someone else wants to buy it, let them buy it. The next great method that I'm showcasing in my camp is resources. You can have like the Meyer Lurk steamer or like the coffee machine. But the best one that you need in your camp, and I actually don't have it built, is the water purifier. If you can have purified water running into your camp, it generates really, 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 really fast. It will sell for a ton. This is by far the best way to make camps. Place like 10 of these in a row. Always go to the train station vendors or the one responder vendor in Grafton. Basically, just any person that is willing to buy it, that's an NPC, you could totally hit your cap limit that day. It is by far the best method in this entire video. When you sell things to vendors, make sure that you have the perk card hard bargain, which can be found in the charisma tab. It can basically buying and selling items is much better at non-player vendors. So this does not work at player vendors. It only works at NPCs like train stations, roaming vendors, that type of stuff. When I don't have the perk card active, and I go to sell, for example, the marsupial serum that I have in my inventory. It only sells for 470. Also, if you're a veteran player, make sure that you grab the serum plants. They sell for a ton. If you need caps, make them and sell them. You can find the plants for them at the White Springs Bunker. Now, if I go and put on, I'm gonna take out inspirational and I put on hard bargain, and then I go to sell the same serum, it will sell for 500 which doesn't look like that much, but it's an extra 30 caps. And in my opinion, that's just a little bit better. And it's like an extra two steps. Another great method to use in this game is the, bo the bobblehead for caps, better cap stashes. So on the screen, I'll put a few maps, but online there's already a ton of them. Basically, once you pop this, go to bottle cap stashes and you'll find a ton of bottle caps in them. It's not a popular method, and in my opinion, this one takes a lot of time and the other methods are a lot faster. But hey, if you have a few of these lying around and you got the time on you, you might as well do them. Another great method that you can do to get caps is by doing public events. There's always people that wanna join them. There's rare plans, there's resources. You can actually even sell the resources if you'd like to after the event. By far, my favorite event for caps is the Brotherhood of Steel Test Your Metal event over here in the Metal Dome. Once that spawns, there's sometimes a robot that'll fly around, shoot it, get some caps from it. There you will get so many caps from this event. It is fun to do. It is a great event. Overall, I would highly recommend this one as the best. Obviously, with the higher level events, you'll get higher caps or higher resources. So like like ones in Flatwoods won't give you much, but like the Cranberry Bog will give you a ton. A method I often do not see getting talked around here is just spawning at Grafton train station and killing every single super mutant here grabbing all of their weapons, items, anything they're carrying on, and just selling it to the vendor. Back in the day, I used to do this a lot on Xbox, and it made me a ton of caps that I would use to trade for higher weapons or in the marketplace to get a ton of caps. This is a method I would highly recommend to new players. Veteran players, not so much as, yeah, it would probably be faster for you, but there's probably better methods that you could be doing. While this method is not for new players, for veteran players or for players who are like in the middle level range, I would highly recommend doing daily ops and exploration. It is a great way to get resources or just caps in general that you could use at these vending machines or at player vending machines to get the resources that you need. Thank you for watching this video on how to earn caps fastest Fall 76. If you have any comments, 
suggestions or helpful pointers that new players could learn that I did not cover, please leave a comment or join my Discord and ping me and just let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day. Will you shut up and try to film a video?